we had uh, clients where they had children born, children that were born before the marriage. It happens. Uh, in the alternative, we see people that um, get married simply because they are pregnant. I can tell when I see the date of birth of the child being two months after the date of marriage. I know that they got married specifically for the purpose because they are pregnant. Um, I don't know what the, if that is a, a good reason to get married, but I see a lot of those. We do a lot of divorce cases where I can see the, the marriage date just before the birth of the child. But what I want to talk about in this is that if you do have a child born before marriage, um, you just have to file the paperwork a little bit differently when it comes to the petition as well as the judgment. Uh, the, you'll notice on the petition, it'll ask if there's children born before the marriage and they want you to attach the declaration of paternity. And I can tell you in my experience after doing this 11 years that most people do not have that. What it is, is it's a document you get in the hospital that shows that who the parents are. It's not the birth certificate. It's a, it's a paternity form that you would sign in the hospital. It's a yellow. I think your copy is yellow. And uh, most people don't have that, but you do need a declaration of paternity to finalize your divorce case if you have children born before the marriage because the court requires it. And if you don't have that, um, that's fine. What I do is I've drafted up a stipulation that I have you sign that basically mirrors what that hospital declaration of paternity form is and um, have you sign that and the courts will accept that. But it is required that you have some type of stipulation or declaration of paternity if you have children born before the marriage.